Okay, what we got here is I've already located the rafters from inside the house. And from that point, we're going to start. And what we're going to do here is we're going to go 14 inches down from the ridge cap. That's going to be our center point. We're now going to take it, tape measure it 7 inches. And we're going to spin our circle to make 14 inches. So 14 inches down, 14 inch circle. Double check that, 14 inch circle. next part of the mission is uh, you're going to need to take a pry bar. You need to loosen up all these. You want to do it nice and gentle so you don't tear them or poke holes in them. But you do need to get underneath them to get the nails out. These are the nails that are holding down these comps right now. And the reason why we need to pull these is because the flashing needs to slip underneath these. So you can't have any obstructions for that flashing when you go to slip it underneath. Okay, when you're pulling up your comps, anytime you can see around this circle, if you can see the top of the comp here, you want to cut it back. And what you want to do is you want to cut it, and this is what we call dog earring. And you want to cut it back into the roof like that. And basically what this allows is, is when the water comes down here, it won't hit a flat edge and go to the side. It'll hit here and continue to channel down. Okay, now that we've pulled all the nails all the way around, we're actually going to slip this up underneath. And you don't have to go under the tar paper. You can go over the tar paper. You can go underneath it. It's probably a little bit easier to go above the tar paper, only being that the tar paper is stapled down. So now that you've pulled all the nails, we're going to slip this thing in there, just like so. There it is. You want to make sure you have uniform edges all the way around. You want to have the same amount of even space all the way around it. It should be at least one inch. Okay, two nails at the bottom. That's to keep it from the wind catching it, blowing it up. And then you're going to want to reapply these nails. Some of the nails that you took out. So, I'm going to put this piece of comp back and we're going to nail it back in. And a little bit of cocking. No exposed nails. And the last thing you want to do is you want to use very little bit of this. But you can actually put a little bit under here. Just to give it a new tacky under here since you've already peeled it up. Okay, we're just going to apply a little bit right where we reapplied those nails. We'll apply a little bit of caulking all the way around it and that should do it and that's a complete installation of a solar powered attic fan.